ITV News has learned that imports of food and plants from the EU are being waived through customs, even if they have incorrect paperwork. New checks, which are all part of the Brexit trade agreement, came into force this morning. Our well, business editor Joel Hills is at the port of Dover overnight. Um, Joel, is this all part of the government's pragmatic approach to Brexit checks now then? It appears to be, and it's important because a quarter of all the food we eat, Mary, is imported from the European Union. Much of it arrives on the back of a lorry. Now, the government insists the new border checks will better protect us from diseases in mainland Europe. But they will also, however, make food in the UK more expensive. Around 6,000 lorries arrive here at Port of Dover and just down the road at Eurotunnel every day. Both ports today say freight has been flowing more or less normally. ITV News has seen a slide, slide demonstration by DEFRA, which helps to explain why. It shows that as of last week, 33%, a third of EU import declarations were being rejected because of errors. And to avoid disruption at the border, DEF said that, DEFRA said that those with minor errors should be waived through and that border controls, full controls, should be imposed as soon as possible. Full border checks then are not being applied here as of today, but full border charges are. And the British Chambers of Commerce says the cost of red tape and all the bureaucracy is going to to hurt their members. This is a ticking time bomb for tens of thousands of small businesses across Great Britain, from cafes to restaurants. In 12 weeks time, the invoices will drop and companies will face bills running into thousands of pounds that many even today don't know they're on the hook for. This isn't over yet. Well, tonight, the government told us in a statement that it is taking a pragmatic approach to the new border checks, Mary. It admits that the error rate with paperwork is high and says it's working with businesses to bring that rate down. The government says it is protecting the UK's biosecurity while also minimising disruption. It does admit the cost of border checks, there will be one. It's negligible, though, and it says that it will cause minimal impact to the price to consumers here in the UK. Okay, Joel Hills at Dover. Thank you.